In this video, we're going to take a look at how you enable parental controls in Video Station. However, before we start, we need to point out that the parental controls in Video Station are very basic, so may not suit your needs. In order to enable parental controls, we first need to log into Video Station from within our web browser. We will know that we are connected to Video Station because of this icon. We now need to log into Video Station using our administrator's credentials. As parental controls within Video Station are very simplistic, they work based on a rating system that a piece of content has been given by the metadata that Video Station has pulled from the internet. So parental controls work by blocking a specific user account from being able to play back a piece of content based on what movie rating that piece of content has been given. This means that while we can prevent someone from playing specific movies in our library, currently we have no way to prevent that user from seeing all of the content that is listed in Video Station. In order to enable parental controls, we first need to select Settings. When the Settings panel opens, we need to select the Parental Control tab. In order to enable parental controls, we now need to select the Add button. This is in order to assign specific users with access rights to the content they can view. As enabled is now ticked, we simply need to select a user account from the drop down menu. We now need to run through the movie, TV show, home video, and TV recordings category and set what content our viewers can view based on the ratings that that content has been given. So, for example, in movies, as this user cannot handle content of a more mature nature, we will be setting what he can watch to L, PG, and PG 13. We would then repeat the same process for the other categories. However, as we do not currently have any other types of content in our library, we will leave these settings blank. Next, we have a pin number that can act as an override. This is so that we can manually allow our user to play back a piece of content that they are blocked from viewing. Unfortunately, it's not clearly explained that you have to enter a pin code before you set parental controls. While we don't recommend that you use such an easy to guess PIN code, once you've entered a PIN code, you can select OK to enable parental controls for this user. As any user accounts which have parental controls enabled are now listed, we will need to repeat the same process for any other user accounts that we wish to have enabled with parental controls. Let's now take a look at parental controls in action. If we select OK, and then we log out of our administrator's account. When we are once again presented with the Video Station login page, we're going to log in as our user. Once logged into Video Station, unfortunately, you can see that the more adult content has not been removed from the listings in Video Station. However, if we try and view something that is not age appropriate, we're instantly presented with a request to enter a PIN code. If we select Cancel, we're once again informed that we cannot watch this video unless we enter the correct PIN code. So while you can see that this is not a perfect system, parental controls will offer some protection to ensure that younger viewers can only watch age-appropriate content.